The South Gippsland Line is the mostly closed line in the southeast of Victoria. It fully opened in 1882, coming off the Banzan Line at Dandenong, which Port Albert in 1882. It was built to serve passengers, some minor branch lines, and oil fields. What's left of the line is the recently upgraded Cranbourne Line, which provided new facilities at Cranbourne and Marinda Park. Construction The line from Dandenong to Cranbourne was completed in 1888, which was extended to Lock in 1890. Leon Gaffer and Curran Brod followed shortly, as they were completed in 1891. And finally, in January of 1892, the line reached its full length, terminating at a small port called Port Albert. Extension to Woodside was added later in 1921. Branch lines. Many branch lines have appeared over the years, such as the short lived Stres Lucky Line, which came off the South Gippsland Line at Kui Rup, the Wanfaki Line, which came off the South Gippsland Line at Nyora, and the Outram Line, which came off the South Gippsland Line at Kurumbra. Closure. Practically all the services have been cut, the only exception being the Cranbourne Line. Services from Woodside to Yarram were cut in 1953, services from Yarram to Leon Gaffa were cut in June of 1981, and on the 3rd of October 1981, Service from Dandenong to Lang Lang were cut. A small shuttle was provided from Dandenong to Leon Gaffer until 1993. And then the South Gippsland Line was finally put to rest. Until 1995, where a small section of the line was given funding to be electrified. Which is, you know, the Cranbourne Line. Reopening. There have been many calls to reopen the South Gippsland line to some extent. The only one which is more or less confirmed is the electrification from Cranbourne to Cranbourne East, or Clyde, proposed in 2009, due to be completed in 2024. In 2008, the Department of Transport issued a report stating the Leon Gaffer line should cost $22 billion, which would not make a very good return on investment, as only 20% of the people in the towns along the line say that they need a heavy rail transport. Instead, the Transport Minister upgraded bus services to those areas instead. What state is the line in now? Most of the line has been dismantled and turned into the Great Victorian Rail Trail. The section from Leon Gaffer to Yarran and onwards was dismantled in 1994, however signal boxes were dismantled in 1992. Until 2016, a tourist railway ran from Nyora to Leon Gaffer, which has since been closed. The tracks are now removed from Nyora to Leon Gaffer, but most of the tracks from Cranbourne to Nyora still survive, however very worn. Most if not all the stations buildings along the town survive. In the middle of nowhere stations, most likely did not. My opinions. I think it was a very silly idea to close the Leon Gaffer line. It had so much potential, yet it was still closed. Let's go through some of the railway stations along the line. Starting at the first station along the line, Lynhurst. It had one platform and a loop siding. The platform has ever since been demolished, and in 1996 there were plans to link it and Frankston. Lindbrook. Built in 2010, and it has two platforms. Due to under budgeting, electricity was stalled until 2011. Marinda Park. Marinda Park was built in 1995 as part of the Cranbourne ex electrification. In 2018, Thompson's Road Level Crossing was removed to the south of the station, and as part of the Cranbourne duplication scheme in 2019, a second platform was provided and the main entrance was removed. Cranbourne. It opened in 1888 and closed in 1993, until it reopened again in 1995. By 2024, Cam's Road Level Crossing will be removed. The former building was removed by the Mornington Railway Preservation Society in 1994. Clyde. Clyde opened in 1888 and closed in 1993. Clyde Station Platform is nothing but a mound now, and it's said to reopen in a few years. Turidin. Turidin was opened in 1888 and closed in 1981. It is also to be reopened if Clyde extensions ever go to Kui Rup or even Leon Gaffa. Kui Rup. Kui Rup was opened in 1890 and closed in 1993. It has no station building and the platform is falling apart. It was the junction to the Streslecky line at one point. Lang Lang. Lang Lang was opened in 1890 and closed in 1993. It might reopen as part of Leon Gaffa extensions. Nyora. Nyora was opened in 1890. It was closed in 1993. It was reopened a year later in 1994 as part of the Preservation Society. It was the junction between the Wonfagi line. Most of it survives today. It was opened in 1890. It was closed in 1993. It was reopened in 1997 and closed for the final time in 2016. It also had a good siding and the station was moved as part of the Lock Bypass project. Urumbra. Kurumbra was opened in 1891 and closed in 1993. It was reopened in 1994 as part of the Preservation Society and closed again. It was it originally had a turntable and engine shed, a goods platform. It was also the junction to Outram Line. 
The station is still there, but track since removed. Leon Gaffer was opened in 1891 and closed in 1993. It was reopened in 1994 and closed in 2016. Many people call for the railway station to be reopened, but nothing has come of those. At one point, the station has six tracks running through it. The station still survives. Buffalo was opened in 1892 and closed in 1983. A set of buffers and a, and a platform remain. Fish Creek. Fish Creek was opened in 1892 and closed in 1981. It had an extensive goods yard which was located at the station, and all that remains are a platform and half a station building in, in good condition. Forster. Forster was opened in 1892 and closed in, in 1981. Platform and building remain. Agnes. Agnes was opened in 1892 and closed in 1991. It was renamed Barry Beach Junction after ba the Barry Beach Line which was opened. Welshpool. Welshpool was opened in 1892. Its platform remains, and the station building was donated to Lockett. In 1905, a narrow gauge line ran to Welshpool Jetty, which was closed in 1941. Alberton. Alberton was opened in 1892 and closed in 1981. It was a junction between the Woodside and Port Albert lines. Technically, it's the end of the South Gippsland line, but a lot of people also count Yarram too. Nothing remains. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next video, we'll be covering the Lost Mildura line.